In this video, I'll show you a quick tutorial how to use similar content to increase your content score. Now, after you log in with your email and password, you'll see the dashboard. First, you'll see the Keyword Difficulty tool that helps you find easy keywords that you can rank for by detecting their difficulty. Enter your keyword here, like online marketing, and then search. The keyword difficulty score is 52, which means it's hard, and it needs high quality backlinks. Here's the analysis of the top 10 results and their good content optimization score. You can find here Neil Patel with content score 72, and this is the content score for the top 10 results. Okay, you can use the synonyms here to find other keywords similar to your keyword to rank for, as Google sees them equally. For example, Google sees internet marketing and web marketing the same. And here you can find the keywords you can use to optimize your title's SEO. For example, the words online, marketing, digital, internet, guide, services, etc. Also, you have up to five words ideas you can include in your title for better optimization. And this is words and keywords you should include in your meta description, like marketing, online, digital, internet, business, and so on. Also, two and three and up to five keywords. By clicking this tab, you'll see Neil Patel and Quicksprout having the keyword in the title, URL, and description, while others don't. This tool gives you an overlook on the keywords' difficulty and how your competitors are doing. After detecting the keyword difficulty, you can move to Content Optimizer. Here, you can put your content manually or fetch its link automatically. It's up to you. In less than 10 seconds, it'll fetch the content of the submitted link so you can analyze it. And the target score should be above 53. If we delete some content, the score will go down. And if we increase keywords, the score of the content may be increased above 72. Here are words to include to optimize your content and boost the score. You have four tabs, not found, low, good, extremely. You need to increase low rate keywords throughout your content. For example, this word is included 96 times, but for optimization, it should be repeated 523 times. The number of frequency of each word depends on the total number of content. Here, it's plus 9,000 words. And these are the keywords that are repeated in the right number of frequency for optimization. Extremely are over-repeated words, like SEO should be found 38 times, but it's repeated 48 times. Also, you have the multi-words with the same four tabs. Now you have a wide variety of ideas to optimize your content score. By enabling live mode, you can optimize the score while writing. So now we've randomly included suggested words and the score went up. But don't over-optimize and reach a score of 74 because it's against Google guidelines. So the best score you should have is between 60 to 74. Here you can find the questions you can include in your content for better optimization and get more ideas on what to talk about on a selected topic. In categories, it tells you under which category you should put this piece of content on your website to get the best results with Google. For instance, online marketing is under web search or advertising and marketing category. Here in entities, you can find what entities this content is speaking about. 
You can see it's speaking about Google and Amazon, Facebook, Pinterest, and so on. In the Concept tab, you'll see how Google sees your content without the needs of including those concepts as keywords in your content. For instance, this piece at Google sees this content is speaking about search engine optimization, Google, social media, internet marketing, pay-per-click, and so on. Keyword Ranking Predictor is our trademarked tool where you can see other keywords you can rank for using the same piece of content if you optimize it above the suggested percentage. Let's remove content to fully understand how the predictor works. If we remove this much and analyze, the score went down to 66%. And by removing more of the important keywords, and the score will keep on decreasing. So, you can optimize the score according to your needs. Keyword brainstorming allows you to explore more related keyword to the main keyword you entered to work on, a variety of ideas, and find the perfect keyword for your content. The Micro Niche Finder gives you a variety of suggestions of niches you can specialize in. If you want to write about dogs, we'll give you micro niches about dogs that you can write about. For instance, if you choose Dog Treats, you can click on it, and you'll find many questions that you should write content about to rank in this micro niche. In the Content Rewriter tool, you can rewrite your content into 12 different languages, and soon there'll be more languages. You grab any piece of content, just make sure each paragraph is less than 100 words, and there's a space between them. The outcome is grammatically correct and not spend nor paraphrased. You can edit it live on the tool. Today's Fresh Keywords works best for news and viral content websites that upload more than blog posts a day for traffic. You can choose any country and see the trending keywords and write content about them fast so as not to miss the trend. In your dashboard, you can click on History to review all the keywords and content you've optimized. It's all saved here. I hope you like Similar Content Dashboard. Ibrahim El Serbini, CEO of Similar Content. Thanks for watching.